Reports from Iran say more than 100 people have been killed after two blasts near a cemetery where a ceremony was being held to mark the death of the country's top military commander. Qasem Soleimani was killed in a US drone attack back in 2020. Well, these pictures from Iranian state TV. Latest pictures show the aftermath of one of the blasts which happened in the southeastern city of Kerman, where hundreds of Iranians had gathered to mark the fourth anniversary of Soleimani's death. Well, our international correspondent John Sparks joins me now. John, what do we know about what's happened here? Uh, hi, Jane. A an extremely violent episode, this, at a, at a deeply unstable period in the region. As you said, more than 100 people dead, scores of people injured. I think the last count was around 170. And we're hearing from officials and from Iranian state media that there were two explosions in the southeastern city of uh, Kerman, near the tomb of Qasem Soleimani, General Qasem Soleimani, a key figure in the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. Uh, a reasonably sophisticated attack, uh, I believe, uh, two explosions remotely detonated, according to Iranian media. The second explosion coming at some point after the first, perhaps up to 15 minutes later. That would be done deliberately to target those people who are coming to the scene, members of the security services, the emergency services, etc. And we understand that four police officers and three paramedics have been killed. Importantly, at this stage, no one has claimed responsibility, but the deputy governor in the region has called it terroristic. I'll just say a few words about Qasem Soleimani, probably the best known figure in the uh, Iran's Revolutionary Guard, perhaps the most important figure in the, the so-called axis of resistance, this coalition of countries led by Iran that oppose the Americans, the Israelis, uh, the British and others as well. Soleimani accredited uh, with uh, funding, uh, training, providing hardware to uh, groups like Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza, uh, groups in Iraq and Yemen as well. And he was taken out by an American drone in 2020 at Baghdad uh, airport. Uh, the regime in Iran, no shortage of enemies, both at, at home and abroad. Uh, Pro-regime figures already blaming the Israelis for this. There is no evidence at this stage uh, for that, but it does fit a, a wider pattern of instability in the region. That, that is for sure. Okay. Uh, John, thanks very much for that.